Hello. Aren't you going to introduce us, Austin? Foxy, this is my... Powers. Nigel Powers. Nigel is definitely Austin's father. Hello. Hello. You could absolutely see that Austin is a chip off of that block. They have arguments all the time. You know, don't blink when you shoot. I don't uh, blink yeah. when I bloody shoot. He has that same mojo that uh, Austin has. Is that how the floor is? His father's hornier than he is. Kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> this is no wonder Austin is as shagadelic as he is. Austin Powers has a lot of genetic material. There's James Bond, there's James Coburn, there's Dean Martin. Michael Caine is the other part of that. We had studied a lot of Michael Caine's movies in creating the first Austin Powers. Partly The Glasses was inspired by the Harry Palmer movies. It's kind of a nerd cool look. You see it a lot in British culture as well. I mean, when I first saw him and it said he was a spy and I saw the glasses, I thought of me and Ipcrest father, of course it turned out to be what it was. Michael Caine was always part of the heritage of the film anyway, so it was just like suddenly so perfect for Michael Caine to be Austin's father. I was actually the first one to call him and say, you know, we really think you'd be great for this. And he said, sure, I can wear the teeth, right? I can wear the glasses, don't you think? I mean, he was so on it. He said, well, I'm gonna wear a wig, aren't I? <laughs> it is a bit of a spin-off of Austin, but reverse engineered. I copied as many things as possible of Austin based on the fact that Austin would have copied them from me. I have an idea. They really acted like father and son. It was really weird. Cain reminds me a great deal of my own father. Oh, um, it's a good time, isn't it? We instantly started finishing each other's sentences. Your spy car's a mini. It's not the size that matters, right? It's how you use it. <laughs> 